Hey guys, welcome to Learning Accounting. I'm Jim of the Kabir, the founder of Learning Accounting. And this particular channel is expected to treat all related accounting issues, especially for professional accountants. So we'll be looking at courses like financial reporting, corporate reporting, or strategic business reporting for all type of exams, be it the ACCA exams or the ICANN exams or other related um, tertiary education exams like the masters, the postgraduate or the undergraduate issues, you know, all those exams will be looking into them. Now, I would like you to watch the video and, you know, drop any questions in the comment section and I'll be here to answer your question for you. So stay tuned and, you know, watch the video to the end. Hey, welcome back guys to Learning Accounting. Today we want to talk about conversions of margin to markup. Conversions. Let me use a different color of marker. Conversions of margin to markup, and of course, markup to margin. Now, and this has always been a challenge for students most of the time especially when they are faced with questions that probably give them um, some information and they're trying to figure it out, especially topics that relates to, um, topics that relates to um, incomplete records, where you'd have to be looking for some of those informations or um, topics like group account, where you have to do calculations for provisions for unrealized profit and so on. Now, what do I mean by margins to markup or markup to margin? So let's look at it first from this point of view. We have sales, and definitely um, sales minus the cost will definitely give us profit. Now, margin is associated to sales while markup is associated to cost and of course the end result we are looking for is actually profit so what am i saying is take for example here we have sales to be 2000 and let's assume we have profit to be or cost to be one eight just using as an example of course profit will be 200. Now, if we want to calculate margin, then it should be 200 over 2000, and that should give us 10%. While if we want to calculate markup, it should be 200 over 1008, and that will give us what? I think I would use my calculator in this case. So let me on my calculator. So 2000 divided by 18. Of course, we have 0 0.111. So let me just say 0 0.11, which is 11% approximately. Now, this is we have a margin and we have a markup. But how do we really apply this information? So, when it comes to an, an information or in a given question, you have markup, or let's say you have revenue and markup. Now, where are you giving revenue and markup? Which, in this case, uh, we've assumed our revenue to be 2000 and our markup to be 11%. Now, what you're going to be looking for is you're either looking for the cost element or you're looking for the profit element. And therefore, if it is the cost element we are looking for, then it will be markup or let me say 100 over 100 plus markup. While if it is the profit element, 
then it will be markup over 100 plus markup of course if we are to apply the information we have above we're going to have 100 over 100 plus 11 which will give me 100 over 111 multiplied by 2000 of course it will give me an approximate as well so we have 100 divided by 111 multiplied by 2000 and like i said it will be an approximate so we have it to be 1008 approximate and if it is the profit we are looking for then we have 100 sorry 11 over 100 plus 11 which is 11 over 111 and multiply by 2000 again and if we do that we have 11 divided by 111 multiply by 2000 and that gives us of course like i've already mentioned it's an approximate so we have it to be 200. now this is in respect to having revenue and markup and it depends on the information given in the question you might want to calculate the cost element or you might want to calculate the profit element as the case may be now this one you find mostly in consolidated financial statements style of questions on the other hand were you given cost and margin? Now for cost and margin, again, we have one eight and we have 10%. Now, when it comes to this, you want to calculate either the total revenue, like I usually say, or you want to calculate the profit element again and again we have this to be 100 over 100 minus margin now in the case of markup we added it but in the case of margin we deducted it or margin over 100 minus margin and if we to imply, apply the figures we have already, we have 100 over 100 plus 10, sorry, I say plus 10, minus 10. And this will give us 100 over 80 multiplied by 1 8. We're going to do the same thing here. This will be 10 over 100 minus 10, which will give me 10 over 90 multiplied by 18 so if we also use our calculator 100 divided by 80 multiply by 18 and uh, oh sorry I used 80 right I supposed to be 90 pardon me so 100 divided by 90 multiply by 18 of course we have our 2000 and we do the same thing 10 over 90 multiply by 18 and of course we have our 200 so uh, when it comes to markup and margin i hope this will help you understand them better as for the revenue we have information on revenue we're looking for the cost and of course 2000 minus 18 will give us 200 while for the cost we are looking for the revenue so we have this as well and 2000 minus 18 still give us the profit element of 2000 so this always should make you have it at the back of your mind that whenever in a particular question you're giving revenue and markup you should know how to go about it or you're giving cost and margin you should also know how to go about that okay um 
I was going to use a different aqua here just to highlight it differently. We should know how to treat that, and I believe this um, would help you one way or the other in any aspect of accounting as you move down your professional career. Now okay. that you're done watching the video, I'm sure it was insightful and it was educational. Make sure you subscribe on our YouTube channel and like our videos and also share these videos with other friends who might likely have the same exam as you. And I'm sure we'll be seeing again in another session. This is Learning Accounting.